We're on the banks of the Mekong, uh, downstream that way Vietnam, upstream is Laos. The waters come way up now. It's flood season. This whole fishing community has been pushed up against the bank. The cows are up against the bank. This is Panara. Panara is a fish biologist with the Fisheries Administration and he's been sampling larval fish, baby fish in this area for almost 20 years. Where's the net? Yeah. Just straight out? Yeah. Every year at this time of year, huge pulses of larval fish, young fish, flow downstream from spawning grounds in the upper Cambodian Mekong. There's a large cone-shaped net sitting down close to the river bottom. We're in about 20 feet of water. So you can see how fine the mesh is. So we're catching everything in a square meter of the river and we let this net sit for about half an hour. In this time of year, the water is very turbid. You can, we can already see a few small fish. Uh, those are juvenile fish, but we're also interested in the fish that are even smaller. This is really what we're after. These tiny fish just spawn. So this fish is probably only a few days old, spawns somewhere upstream. There are billions and billions of baby fish coming down the river every day. Panara says during the peak period for one or two days uh, every year, that entire canister, his entire canister, will be absolutely filled with baby fish. What species? Uh, tray reel. Cone tray reel. That's a tray reel? How many different kinds of fish have you ever found sampling this way? For, for the all? Or yeah, like all, 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 all species. Around uh, 300. Uh, 34. 334 yeah. different kinds of fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. 334 species of fish. It shows you the amount of diversity in this river. Yeah, What's this one? Oh. Yeah, yeah, cat, catfish. That's a wallaby, though, right? Oh, wallaby. Uh. <laughs> Panara, do you have microscopic photos of all of these fish? Have you taken photos of them under the microscope? Yes. Have you seen changes in the density, the number of fish that you catch from 20 years ago to today? Every year. Lo, lo, lo. Every year yeah. the density of fish drops. Yeah. Panara is concerned that the number of young fish is declining. Uh, that could be for a number of reasons. It could be because the brood stock, the spawning fish in the upper Cambodia are being over harvested. It, be, it could be because of fragmentation caused by dams, which are becoming increasingly common uh, upstream of this area. And so these threats uh, to the larval fish and the movement of larval fish actually threaten the very existence of this productive fishery and the food that Cambodian people depend on. The Mekong is the most productive river on earth. Millions of tons of fish are harvested from Cambodia every year. And without this flood season dispersal of young fish, that super productive harvest wouldn't be possible.